in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I am the gatekeeper of this internet ministry. I am known here on YouTube, Vimeo, Daily Motion, and please be sure that you friend me on Facebook under the name Sheshaw to know better. Oh, I had a technical difficulty real quick. Sorry about that. But I'm known as the mighty, mighty, mighty uh, Black Dragon or Angel Snub Nub 7, whichever you prefer. I would first like to just give a few seconds of silence in memory of our little brother, Trayvon Martin. Just bear with me a second. Thank you. When I was in the nation of Islam, when I practiced Islam and we pray when everyone began to pray there were those who did not participate because we understood that even though we are practicing peace there are those who don't care anything about peace so when we pray, there are others who watch for those who want to break that peace. So all over this nation, we have rallies and vigils and prayers offering and showing our condolence and our mourning for Trayvon Martin. This is a beautiful sight, wonderful sight. So while, so while you pray, while you protest, while you vigil, the question arises, who are those who are going to remain alert while you pray? Those who are going to look for the danger those who are going to be vigilant, those who are going to maintain their composure while others are emotional. This is a situation where we cannot just be emotional because emotion distorts our reality. Emotion causes us not to think properly. So we need to have those who are sympathetic towards the passing of our little brother, but also be vigilant and looking at the dangers that surround our situation while we are in mourning, while we are at prayer. So I will be on the outside looking in, on the outside watching for danger. Now, I understand that we want George Zimmerman arrested. I understand that. That's our emotional part. And it really has nothing to do with emotion. The emotion comes because we're not really getting any justice. That's what's so heartbreaking. More so than even the passing or the mourning of our little brother because as surely as we are given life at any time, no matter how old we, we are, you can pass this life. But the tragedy is this injustice. So we want George Zimmerman arrested. 
And of course, the title of this video is George Zimmerman arrested, but at this time, he's not arrested. I want to say something to us. What's, what's so mind-boggling is that this man has not been arrested, and we know living in the black community, so many of us have went to jail and immediately, immediately arrested for far less than this Zimmerman character. There's something wrong. I mean, it is even shown that this is, is probably a hate crime because George Zimmerman was uh, heard, or you could hear him saying a tank calling uh, Trayvon a coon. Which, of course, now, if George Zimmerman is an immigrant, and not to get off the subject, but you do have people fresh off the boats that just come to this country. Some of them can barely speak English, but they can call us coons and shines and niggers and all this other stuff. Where do you think they get all this stuff from? They get all this stuff, the root of it is the racist Caucasian people of America, their media, and, their, and having direct contact with them. The root of cool, the root of nigga, all that stuff comes from this nation. But then they want to sit back like they didn't do anything. White supremacy, brothers and sisters, no matter how you look at it, is at the root of everything. The problem with this case is that George Zimmerman has not been arrested, but there's a reason behind that. And I want to say this to us very quickly. As a victim of, of, of law, as a victim of these laws, I am, and I'm pretty sure many of you are victims also. I'm very familiar with the court system, been in and out of the courts. I know how the courts operate. I know about the law. I have filed papers myself. I'm not a lawyer, but I filed papers in the state courts all the way up to the Supreme Court. Been in and out of courts. So you want to question me about what I know. You don't have to accept what I know, but I'm telling you due to my experience and those who do know law that's familiar with the court system. See, they trying to, see, they're not going to try to, some people are trying to tell you what's going on, but you don't want to listen because you, you are emotional. I'm going to give you the scenario of what's going down. There's a reason. The reason why George Zimmerman has not been arrested is because of this law. And now, let me tell you something. Because of emotion, because of pressure, George Zimmerman can be arrested, which might happen. But I'm going to tell you what the scenario is going to be. I'm going to give you your reality. I'm going to bring your reality check. You're dealing with law. Now, if if these people, if the authorities decide to act on emotion, if the if the federal government decides to get on, get involved in this. Let me tell you what can happen. You can mess around and get a conviction. All right? But now you, you're dealing with the law. See, in the law, in order to convict somebody and they stay convicted, you have to convict and prosecute in, in, in relation, in accord with the law. This Florida law is interfering with all of that. So, due to emotion, they go in, have a trial, and the jury convicts this man. If you don't cross your T's, if you don't dot your I's, if the prosecution 
don't make sure that their case is solid, then the Zimmerman defense attorneys will appeal. And see, it's all based in law, brothers and sisters. And I know we are emotional, but these laws, sometimes law can work for you, and sometimes law can work against you, for the criminal and against the criminal. It's according to what was being done. In this case, the law is helping this criminal, this murderer. Now, I'm not suggesting anything, but if you want to act outside of law and be a vigilante, that's your business. But if you're going to, de to depend on this justice system, then I'm going to tell you, because of emotion, this man get convicted, and he might get locked up for a little while during the appeal process, but if they take this to the Supreme Court because of the Florida law, then his, his conviction can be overturned. Now, let, the situation can get even worse. You will get even more emotional. Because what will happen is if the state Supreme Court or even the federal Supreme Court overturn the conviction because of a technicality which is they were not they did not convict in accord to this law this Florida law and they found that he was convicted under prejudice or whatever whatever the, the case may be then what will happen is that George Zimmerman will become free George Zimmerman will find civil attorneys and they will stew the sue the state of Florida and chances are he will win for wrongful conviction then you will become even more emotional because not only did George Zimmerman really get away with a murder but he also became a millionaire and that's the reality of what y'all looking at so I understand us being emotional I know how you feel. I was locked up for 10 years for no reason. I know how you feel. They tried to murder me legally. There's such thing as legal murder under the law. But the reality is that's the scenario that can happen. So I just wanted everybody to understand the reason why this man has not been arrested is because of this Florida law. And I know you want justice, but these laws, sometimes they hinder, they make things worse. The law was designed to try to help people defend themselves from criminals, but now the law is helping someone who has turned into a criminal. It's all messed up. It's all messed up. So while you pray, look at it, listen to those on the outside watching your back because I know we want justice. It can, it can, it can really, it can get worse. But that's what you're looking at. That's the reality of it. You don't want to make this man a millionaire. So if I were if I were us, I would not continue to pressure them to arrest this man because you can make him a millionaire in a few years and he still would get the last laugh. And then he will go underground, change his identity and all that kind of good stuff. Y'all know how it is. As long as we live in America, you know there's no justice. We know as black people we don't get justice. And, I, and there are many white people would tell you the same thing. And I was locked up with white folks. These laws and stuff, how they have them written, don't bring justice. You can't get justice in America. All right, that's what I wanted to tell you. Jot down your comments, talk about it. That's the reality of this situation. We'll see what happens later on. 
This your brother, the Black Dragon. This was and is the Rally's Temple on Earth.